Hello everyone, this is YouTube Buddy. In this video, we will discuss about type operators. First, we will understand what are type operators and why we need to use them. In real time application, these scenarios may arise. Suppose you have some variables and objects, but the data type of those variables or the class of the objects are not mentioned in the code. But you need to get the type of those variables and objects to access some properties or methods which may be already present in the object class, but you are not aware of that. In those cases, type operators will be very helpful. You can identify the data type of those variables and the class of the objects by using type operators. The first operator is instance of. This operator works on the objects and it is used to check if the object is of a particular type or not. We will take an example. We have created an array of numbers. Name of the array is A. Now we have added some more code. Console.log inside that A instance of array. And again console.log A instance of string. This piece of code will check if A is a type of array or not. As A is an array, so this will give us output true. And in line number 8, this will check if A is a type of string or not. As A is not a string, so line number 8 should give output false. We will save and execute. You can see we got our expected output true followed by false. Now we will take another example with an object which is derived from a class. We have created a class person which has three properties name of string data type, age of number data type and the new learner of boolean data type. If you are not aware of class, you can watch the video of class in the same tutorial series. We have created an object P of the class person and we are assigning the name, age and new learner property values of the object P. Now if I write console.log and inside that P instance of person, this piece of code should check if the object P is derived from class person and if it is having all the properties assigned as per the person class. As it satisfies all the conditions of person class, line number 21 should give us the output true. We will save and execute once again. You can see we got our expected output in the integrated terminal. This is how we use instance of operator. The next operator is type of. It returns the data type of a variable. To check the type of operator, we have written some codes from line number 23 to 26. Line number 23 checks the type of object P. Next one checks the type of P.name and then P.age. And the last one is checking type of P.newLearner. What should be the output for these four lines? This line will give us the output object because P is an object. And the next line will give us the output string because the property name of the object p is string data type. Similarly, the next one is number and the last one is boolean. Let's see if we get our expected output. Yes, we got our expected output as object, string, number and boolean. So our type of operator is working perfectly fine. And this is the way we need to use the operator type of. Now you are aware of the concepts instance of and type of, which are really very useful in real time application. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, bye bye. Take care.